Hi! It's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, today we are going to do some of the cutest little DIYs using the cake carriers from Dollar Tree. Um, I posted this on Instagram and in one of my, um, I think it was a Dollar Tree haul. I mentioned to grab you some of these if you could find them and we're going to do some really cute little cake carriers. Um, now we're not, I don't make a lot of round cakes. So in mine, when I use these, I do brownies, I do cookies, Rice Krispie treats. So you do not have to just put cake inside this cake carrier, whatever treats that you have. So um, I've got a, <laughs> I got a mess over here. You may be able to see this, I don't know. I just got a bunch of different stuff that I've like gathered from around the house and we're gonna make these really cute. Okay, so I am so excited to do this with you. So as always, I'm gonna adjust the camera, that way you can see exactly what to do, and so you don't have to look at this hot mess, because if I waited until like I had like hair and makeup just perfect, <laughs> I would not get this video done. I have been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. So, all right. Okay, so hopefully this is a good angle for you. Um, I've got the cake carrier. It's sitting on this towel just kinda of help keep it from slipping everywhere on me. So what you wanna do is, before you start, just give this a good wipe down. I just sprayed some Dawn on here, wiped it down. It kinda gets rid of any like excess grease or oils that may be on here, any little dust. Okay, so here is the handle. Just kinda stick it up, that way you see how, like if you're carrying this, what it would look like. All right, so I have that up. So I know that this right here is gonna be like my front and center. I have this black paint pen, it's like a paint marker. This is Crafter Square from Dollar Tree. You can get these anywhere. Um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, sometimes Dollar General. Like I said, it's just a paint pen. All right, so I'm gonna shake it up really good. And our very first one, we are gonna make an adorable snowman. Okay, all right, so here is like my center. All right, I'm just gonna do some big circles for the eyes, okay? All right, so now that I've got those drawn on there, I'm gonna take this, this paint marker, and I'm just gonna start like coloring this in. All right. So if you haven't used these before, all you have to do is press in, and it kind of gets that paint flowing. So I will just kind of keep going around until I completely fill in the inside of my eye. Okay, just keep doing loops. Oop. I know. <laughs> There's one. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing right here. I'm just gonna go around in circles. Just filling in this eyeball. Now the good thing with this is, if, that, if my eye isn't big enough, or like they're not the exact same size, I can just kind of keep going around to get them as close as possible. But the best thing about a snowman, it's not perfect. All right, <laughs> so there's our two eyeballs. Now, uh, now I'm gonna take this orange, this orange, Puffy paint. This is from Walmart. It's just basic orange. I'm gonna give this a good shake. Okay, so now that I have this completely shaken up, we <laughs> obviously we are gonna make a carrot nose using this right here. Okay, I am gonna do, I'm gonna try my best to add like a little something to it, but if not, you can just do a triangle. Let's see. Squeeze, whoop, squeeze that out. I am gonna go up. I'm gonna go up and kind of over. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna kind of come down. We're gonna fill this in and kind of play with it. We're gonna work, we're gonna like fill this in. Try to make this look a little bit better. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna take my orange 
And I am just going to keep kind of like going around, just lightly squeezing, just filling in my carrot nose. So I'm just going to like, because I have learned the more puffy paint you use, the longer it takes to dry. So I'm just going to now use the tip of this. And I'm just going to start moving this puffy paint around. That way I don't have so much paint. All right, let's see. I'm just kind of like making me a little carrot nose. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> there's my nose. It's far from perfect. Like I said, you can do any shape. You could just do like a long triangle. Um, you be a little, you're probably a little more artistic than I am. You could do like a little bit better of a job. Okay, so while the nose continues to dry, now we're gonna do like our little, um, now we're gonna do our mouth. So once again, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do small little circles. Go ahead and kind of color them in as I go. Just round in a circle. Just kind of space them out. I'm just coloring this in. I just want to have a cute, happy little snowman. <laughs> Look at that! All right. So we're gonna take the tray, the like the tray for the cake carrier. I'm sit that down on here. All right, now we are not done. But look how cute that already looks. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna use um, the black and white buffalo check from Dollar Tree. This is actually from the Halloween. But you can use any ribbon you want. And I'm cutting mine at eight inches. So I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut two of these. And it does not have to be exactly eight inches. And I'll use this piece right here to measure off this one. Okay, cut that. I'm going to go ahead and dovetail my ends, which is you take this, you just fold it over in half, and you take your scissors, like right here where my seam is, like where it's folded, I take my scissors and I cut up at an angle. And it gives me that perfect dovetail. Same thing on this end. I'm just going to fold it over. I'm going to put my, sciz my scissors along the seam that is folded over. And I'm going to cut my scissors up at an angle. Just like that. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just cut up at an angle. All right, so what I like to do is I like to take twine. I'm gonna lay my twine out right here on the table. Okay, just kind of like right there. I'm now gonna take my two burlaps that I cut, make an X right across that twine, and I'm gonna take my buffalo check, or whatever ribbon you choose. Okay. Now I'm gonna tie me a knot right in the center of all of this. And then before I make that really, really tight for that second knot in, I like to make sure that everything is centered. So now I'm going to pull that really tight. I'm going to put another little knot. Okay. All right, I'm going to fluff this out. Just kind of pulling all that ribbon apart so you can see everything. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Now, I think I want to add, I have all of these bills, all these jingle bills from Dollar Tree. I think I'm going to add one of these on here. I could do the green, the red. I think I'm going to do red. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same twine that I've been using. I'm going to slide it through the back of my bill, that little loop that it has. And I'm going to tie that right into the center of my bundle. Okay. Turn it over. Use that same twine that I've been using. And tie that really tight for my bell. 
Look how cute that looks with that buffalo check. <laughs> all right. Cut off all this excess twine. So now we're gonna make this really cute. Right, so once again, I'm gonna put my handle up. That way I know how I'm gonna be carrying it. Um, so I'm gonna put a, this one here. Now you can either put it like front and center, you can put it over to the side. I also have this beautiful, um, like sugary, sparkly little pick from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna pop off some of these heads. All right, so I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. I think I'm gonna kind of put mine, kind of like a little angle, just kind of over here on the side. I'm gonna put me a bunch of hot glue just right here on the top of the, of the carrier. And I'm gonna sit my bundle right there in that hot glue. And I'm just gonna hold that down and I'm touching the bell. <laughs> So I don't burn myself. And I'm gonna hold that down until that dries. All right, now I'm gonna add some of these little greenery picks. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna stand up so I can do this. Okay, so I'm gonna put some hot glue right underneath here for me. And I'm gonna add this little bundle or this little, little pick. I'm gonna glue that down. All right, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it. So right back here, like the back of my little bundle, I'm gonna put some hot glue right there. And I'm gonna hot glue this in here. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look how adorable this little cake carrier is now. I love it. That is so cute. Obviously, take your sticker off. But look how adorable this snowman is. <laughs> I love it. All right, we are not done. We have more to do. All right, our next one. Another cake carrier. All right, this time we are gonna make a reindeer. We're gonna make an adorable reindeer using this and some brown pipe cleaners. I'm gonna grab a few of these. So first off, take you one pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna do mine. Okay, all right, let's make sure you can see this. So take my pipe cleaner, I'm just gonna bend it. One, okay, see? Y'all, my hands shake really bad, I'm sorry. Everything kinda like trembles. Um, So just, you see, <laughs> hold that still. You see how like one is obviously taller than the other. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm going to twist my end, okay? So I got from like about right here, just kind of, can you see this? Okay, so I'm gonna pinch it, and I'm like twisting this together all the way down to the end, okay? So this is gonna be part of an antler. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm gonna take another one, and I'm just gonna cut off some. And I'm gonna put it on here. In the tallest one, I'm now gonna take another pipe cleaner and I'm just gonna twist it around my tallest pipe cleaner. Cause we are just making some antlers. <laughs> All right, so got that right there. Now we're gonna take another one, do the exact same thing. So let's take one pipe cleaner, just kind of fold it over, you might you want one, okay. Okay, so the pipe cleaner. <laughs> All right, so now once again, I'm gonna kind of pinch it right here in the bottom. It's kind of getting lost in my black shirt. So kind of pinch that, and I'm just gonna twist all of this all the way down. All right, so I got that right there. Now I'm gonna take another, that pipe cleaner that I just cut, off that. And once again, I'm going to take this and I'm going to um, attach this to my tallest pipe cleaner. And now, once again, I'm just going to take that. And all I'm doing is just taking that end and just twisting it all the way around that pipe cleaner so that I have, once again, another antler. 
Okay, so just to kind of hold these in place and get an idea, I am gonna take tape just for now. All right, so kind of long piece of tape. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of sit it, hold my handle up. Okay, there's my handle up. Kind of like right at the edge, the inside of that handle. I'm just gonna kind of sit that right there. And I'm just gonna tape it for now. That way it just kind of gives me an idea of how I want to like hot glue it down. Same thing, take this one right here. And I'm just gonna tape this one down. Like I said, this is temporary. We're not leaving it taped. <laughs> but do you see how we have antlers? Okay, so now that we have these taped on here, just to hold them in place until we have everything ready. Okay, so I got those there. Once again, I'm taking that same black paint marker and I'm gonna make some big eyes for our reindeer. Um, once again, my handle's right here. So this is the center. I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna draw a line. And then I'm just gonna make an arch. Okay, come over a little bit from space. Once again, another line. And then once again, another arch. Yep. Something like that. Now, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna push in to get that paint kind of flowing, and I'm just gonna color in the inside of the eyeball. Once again, I'm just gonna kind of keep going around and then just fill in this in completely black. Okay. <laughs> Something like that. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, trying to make this one look as close to the other one as possible. All right, so I'm gonna push that in, kind of get my, my paint flowing. All right, I'm gonna fill this completely in just by going around and around. <laughs> All right, two black eyes. Now I'm gonna add some little eyelashes to mine. So just right up here, I'm just gonna do little swooshes. I think just two little swooshes. Now you do not have to do this, but I'm just gonna add just those cute little, little eyelashes. Okay, so we got that right there. So I'm gonna let my black continue to dry. I have these pom-poms from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take the bigger red one and we're gonna hot glue this on here for her little nose. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna put some hot glue on the back of this right here. So some hot glue. And then I'm gonna stick it right on here, right in between her little eyes. Just like right there. I'm just gonna hold that down and let that dry. <laughs> Look how cute. All right. Now, of course, she has to have a bow. So, put that right back there for a minute. That way my paint can continue to dry. All right, for my ribbon, I am gonna take this beautiful, green sparkly mesh from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take the red, white, and green from Dollar Tree. Now this right here, this is Walmart. It's just this red and white, but once again, use whatever ribbon you have or you can find. So I'm gonna cut this one first. And once again, I'm gonna cut two of each at eight inches long. Okay. <laughs> Ignore my one thumbnail. I bought this new color at Dollar Tree. It's beautiful. This is a gorgeous shade of green. So I was just kind of playing around to see if I liked it, but I love it. Okay. All right, so eight inches. So I'm gonna do two of all of these at eight inches long. So I have some green twine from Dollar Tree. Same thing, I'm just gonna lay that out. Okay, I'm just gonna lay out this green twine. And then I'm gonna, once again, I'm gonna do my X, just my bundle. 
kind of like all of these down. That. I'm going to do my green next. And I'm going to do my little stripes. And I'm going to take this twine. And once again, I'm going to tie it right across the center of my bundle. I like to adjust and make sure everything is centered first. Oop. All right, kind of adjust my bundle a little bit. Make sure that's nice and centered. All right, so I got one knot. I'm at another knot right here in the center. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna take this right here and I'm gonna fluff it all out. Okay. So I'm gonna take my reds. I'm going to pull them apart. Just adjust it to where you can see all of your beautiful ribbon. Okay, so now that we have this beautiful little bundle, I am going to go ahead and dovetail all of these ends. Exact same way. Just fold it over in half. I'm going to put my scissors, scissors along the seam. I'm going to cut up at an angle. I am going to take a silver jingle bell from Dollar Tree and I'm going to tie it right here in the center of this bow. Okay. I'm just going to put the same twine right through the back of this little loop. Put that right down there. And I'm going to turn it over the same twine to tie this bell into the center of our loop, of our, our pretty bundle. Cut all the excess off. All right, <laughs> I love it. All right, so now that I know this is where I want my antlers, I am going to hot glue them on here and set up my up right where it's taped on. I'm gonna lightly lift up and a line of hot glue. Like right there. And then just stick my pipe cleaner in that glue carefully without burning myself. I am not touching the glue. I'm touching the very end and up here. I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm gonna press that down into my glue. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm going to put it right here. Okay, let's get that there. I'm going to put that on there. Try to make sure I get these pretty even with each other. Hold that down and into that glue. All right, now I'm going to take our beautiful bundle we just made. I'm going to hot glue it right here, like kind of like in the center of my antlers. I'm just going to put a bunch of hot glue right here in the center and I'm going to hold that bundle into place until that dries and adheres to that plastic. <laughs> Look how cute! Alright, now we have to add like the magic to her eyes. Alright, so I'm going to take white puffy paint. Um, like right up here, I just want to add like just a tiniest little dot for like the little twinkle in her eye. Just like that. We do the same thing over here. Just like a little bitty twinkle of her eye. Do you see that? Alright, now, um, like the tray, the base of it. Put that on here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how adorable this reindeer cake carrier is. I love that. And all we did, we just add a little, little dab of white for that little twinkle in her eye. Now if you want, you could go ahead and like make like white for the pupil, like kind of give her more of an eye. But I love just that little, little speck of white. All right, so my next idea is, so yeah, so if you're not so much into like the cutesy ones, um, I have one that's like very just beautiful and simple. 
So once again, just the cake carrier. I've got a pick. This is a 98 cent pick from Walmart. So any stem, any little arrangement you have at home, you could use, any little branch. So I'm gonna take this right here. Um, I want mine to like kind of cascade over the side. So I'm just gonna take this and give it a little, just a little bend. Okay. That way it kind of like hangs over the side of my carrier. Yeah, I'm going to take some ribbon. I'm going to take my same black and white Dollar Tree ribbon. But I also have this beautiful snowflake ribbon. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. All right, we're going to make some bows. All right, so once again, so here's how I do my bows. Uh, I pinch me a tail. Okay. So I just leave like a tail. I'm now going to take my loop. I'm not going to pull this straight down. Now I'm going to bring like a loop upwards. And I'm going to pinch this right here where I'm pinching my tail. Okay, and it gives me a loop. Now, see this is like the back side of that ribbon. I'll pull that straight up into the air. And then I'm going to fold it over. Okay, see, it's straight up in the air. Now I'm going to bend it forwards and I'm going to pinch it right here in the center where I was pinching everything else, right, all that together. Okay. And then I make sure that my loops are about the exact same size of each other. If they're not, you can just kind of adjust them. All right, so I got that right there. Okay, so you can either like put it right here and pinch it and hold that together, or you can put a chip clip and kind of hold that so you can sit it to the side for a minute because my hands kind of will start to hurt. <laughs> the joys of getting older. All right, so once again, I am just gonna pinch me a little tail. Okay, just a little tail. Now I'm gonna take the same ribbon and it's the same on both sides, so that's perfect. I'm just gonna loop that up. I'm gonna pinch it. I'm gonna take that straight up in the air. I'm gonna pinch that right there. So now I have two loops. I'm going to make sure that my loops are about the exact same length of each other, exact same size as each other. So now I have those right there. I'm going to put that between my thumb and kind of hold it for a second. Take this back up. Right, so now I have that pinched. I'm now going to take this bundle that I've been holding. I'm going to lay it right across the center. So instead of going like straight on. I'm going to turn this one at an angle and cross it over. I'm going to take one of those pipe cleaners that we've been using for the antler and I'm going to lay it across this whole little bundle right here. And I'm going to pull it around to the back. So that I have all that now folded. I'm going to pinch this and I'm going to give this little pipe cleaner a bunch of good tight twists. All right, so now I've got this little bouquet that now you just start to fluff out. Just fix your loops. Just want to make sure that you can see everything. Okay, so now that I have all that fluffed out, I went ahead and I cut my ends. I went ahead and dovetailed all the ends. Now I'm going to take this pick and the pipe cleaner that I have I'm gonna wrap it around my stem of this pick. Okay. Just like that. Put it on there. Now I'm gonna give me some tight twist around the stem of this pick. Okay, so I've got my cake carrier. Here's my handle. Everything is centered right in front of me. Kind of place this on here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this whole little pick, this whole little bouquet that I just made. I'm going to hot glue it on the top. So I'm going to put hot glue all along my stem. So all of this right here, right on this stem. Just a bunch of hot glue. I'm going to lay it on here. Kind of get it where I want it. And I'm going to press down. 
so that stem will adhere to the cake carrier. I'm just gonna hold that down, and I'm holding all the um, the ribbon, so I'm not touching the hot glue. Okay, and then I will just kind of fluff everything out. And now look how beautiful that looks right there. And if you wanted, you could add you a jingle bell, like right in the center of all of this. I think I'm gonna try that. I think I'm gonna put some hot glue right here in the center of my bundle. I'm gonna hot glue that right in there. Ta-da! Look how beautiful that is right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, these turned out so daggone cute. Um, oh my gosh, I don't know which one's my favorite because I love them all, but I may, normally I would say the snowman, but this reindeer turned out so cute. Um, but look, look how adorable this little cake carrier is. You know, like I said, I do mostly brownies, cookies, no bakes, Rice Krispie treats. You don't have to just do eggs in here. Whatever you're taking to a holiday gathering, use this. Use this on your, on your counter, like when you make Christmas cookies or something, put your cookies in here. Um, these make wonderful gifts. Like if you need like a last minute, like inexpensive gift for someone, right here. <laughs> um, like after like, if you're gonna go to like a New Year's Eve party or like a New Year's Day family gathering, take your goodies in this. So I love the snowman. Now remember, if you use puffy paint, it takes hours to dry, so be very careful, because like I said, I've already bumped mine a couple times. Oh, that is so cute. I love that one. That. <laughs> this reindeer, I don't know if it's the antlers or the little red, like sparkly pom-pom nose. It's so cute. And once again, you can carry it. You know, you got your little handle. So I love it. And then this one, if you're not into like the cutesy kind of stuff, right here. Add you any beautiful little pick or something you may have at home. Like I said, I found this at Walmart for 98 cents and I think it's beautiful. So that and just some ribbon. Make you some bows. You could do the exact same kind of bows we did over here or you could do the loops. But look at that. Just adding a pick and some ribbon to a dollar. It's still a dollar in Kentucky, but where you are it may be $1.25. But still, I mean, still about a dollar. Look how cute that is. Seriously, I think this is beautiful. I really do. I, I do know the black paint pens. Like I said, this was Dollar Tree. You can get them anywhere. Um, let me show you really quick. Okay, so this right here, this is the original cake carrier I made five Christmases ago. <laughs> Five Christmases ago, I've been using this one right here, and this is basic apple barrel paint. 50 cent paint, which was black and then just like an orange. Um, I don't remember the name of it, because like I said, it's been five years. But it was just basic paint that I just put on there. I let one coat dry, and I did another coat. You know, there's nothing on this. There's no sealant. Yeah, that's the right, no sealant. Um, but like I said, five years. And that is just basic paint, you know? So this is kind of like what started my whole love of cake carriers. So when I made this one. Now, let me just say to you, and if you give it as a gift to someone, obviously, don't stick this in water. You know, it comes apart. This is where your food is. This is where all the gross stuff is gonna be, you know, like all your stickiness. Hand wash this. I don't think it's dishwasher safe which I wouldn't put in the dishwasher, hand wash this. And then what you would do is just take like a soapy rag, wipe down your inside, but do not put this in water and don't scrub across like the face because obviously it's paint. You know, it's gonna come off, but you can always touch it up, but it's adorable. <laughs> and like I said, where your food is actually gonna be touching, scrub it, clean it, you know? But I love them. 
Okay, so of course I need to know which one is your favorite. Um, like I said, I guess I'm gonna have to say the reindeer, snowman, and then the, just the beautiful one over here. But I just think they're too cute. <laughs> and they're fun. And this really is another craft that you could do with youth groups. You could do with a church group, just like, just like a girls night or something, or you can do with kids at home. We also did some rabbits. We used the same kit carriers and made Easter bunnies last year. Um, I'll put the picture right here so you can see it. And I'll link the video for that at the end because if you see these kit carriers, um, you wanna grab them when you see them because they don't always have them. So think ahead, kind of like for spring and Easter of I have a rabbit version too that we did, but I love these. <laughs> okay, that is it. I hope that you have a wonderful day and barely shaken, and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.